hi guys my name is jerian and welcome back to jt vlogs on this channel i like to do like a little series of where i review wigs so you don't have to on today's episode i am trying out the um the brand is vanessa and it is the flawless hd melt um lace j part wig and i got it in 1b and um i think the name of the wig is called Aylin. And this is what the brand looks like. You know, it showed a girl with the J part. And then it also comes in these other colors on the back. I was supposed to get the F1B30, but it didn't have like little brown highlights in it. But I ended up picking up the wrong wig. Like I said, this is a 1B wig. And it is cute for what it, for what it's supposed to give. It's very cute. I love this wig as of right now. But this is just my honest review. I bought this from my local beauty supply store and it was $65. Um, I definitely think the price of this wig is a little high. Um, this definitely is giving $45, $40 wig type, you know what I mean? Um, one thing I do like about it is the texture. Um, the hair is very long. You can't see, but it goes past my butt and I am 5'2". It's very wavy. That's what got me to it is the crimps and the wave in it. But one thing I did know since I am new to the wig game, this is a J part wig. Um, still kind of know what that is, but I think it means like the wig curve so you can wear it as a side part. And when I first put the wig on, I did do it as a side part, but I didn't want a side part. I'm a middle part type of chick. So that's what I went for. Um, I wouldn't recommend putting extreme heat on this. I did try to flat iron this side just a little bit more. And I pulled out my, um, what is it called? I pulled out my hot comb flat iron and it did end up burning. Um, it ended up, ended up burning the hair, so I do not recommend, you know, you using a hot comb flat iron. But you can put heat on it, but it has to be at low with a regular flat iron. So, that's one of the mistakes I made, but it didn't do no damage to the hair. It looks fine. Um, only thing I did was I put a little mousse, tried to lay it down, brushed it, tied it up tried the flat iron burnt the hair took it off and then i just been slowly just going over it with my um flat iron closed to make it look more smooth but i'm definitely after this video i'm gonna go put a rag on to give it you know that laid down smooth effect um like i said it naturally comes as a side part but you can definitely do middle if you take the time and are patient um it took me three three hours i would say three weeks it took me three hours to, um, I guess, tweak this wig. It's a lot of plucking. That's one thing you will have to do. Um, I plucked it fairly good. Like I said, I'm new to this. Um, I went ahead and pulled some hairs out. It made like a little baby hair in the middle. But as far as that, that's the only thing I did. It does come with three combs. I believe it's one right here, one in the back, and one on the side. And it, like, I don't know, I, I love it. It doesn't feel too tight on my head. It's very comfy. It's not heavy. Uh, I know sometimes some wigs be heavy from all the hair they put on it. Um, the reason why I don't think this is a $65 wig is the wefts at the top are kind of like, like it's less hair put up at the top. And you can like, you can't really see it, but it kind of like, I, I can explain it. If, I'm gonna show it off camera, like a little video, but the webs at the top aren't as good and then like i said you cannot put extreme heat on it you know because it burnt the hair and then what was what was my other complaint oh in it it sheds a lot so as you comb through it or you just try to break you know break the crimps out or whatever the hair sheds a lot this definitely is a wig just if you need it for the night or like a two three day trip I am going to Houston in a few days and I'm only going to be there for two days. So this is a perfect wig for something like this. Do not buy this wig and expect to wear it for a week and it just do what it's supposed to do. Um, but it's, it's really cute. Like it's like, I don't know, the look of it, the style of it is very cute, but the upkeep and the quality, I just don't think it's there. But like I said, it's, it's long, it's wavy, it's soft and it's it's cute like look look at that like i look so cute y'all 
and this is the packaging just in case you know y'all was curious and still want to purchase it even though i ain't really giving a good review but this is what it looked like it come in this type of yellow and white um packaging and like i said it's the flawless hd lace this is the name of it um Aylin, i guess and then it's in 1b and it's by the um company vanessa um fashion hair by fifth ave collection and you could probably get this uh wig cheaper online like i said i bought at my beauty supply store and we all know they upcharge but if you could find that wig online you could probably get it for what it's actually worth but like i said once again um i would get this wig probably one out of ten ten being great i would give it a six i would give it a six and it does come with a lace as y'all can see i'm new to this so i haven't really completely cut the whole lace off because i just feel like i'm gonna mess up but i'm just hiding it <laughs> but it do come with a lace and you do cut it before you know you know when you first put the wig on the lace is shown and all the type of stuff but i cut it as little as i could so i wouldn't mess up but it does come with a lace and it's it's a fairly good wig for what it's supposed to do um, like I said, I give it a six just for the quality of the wig and it tangles up. I definitely don't see this wig lasting longer than maybe, like if I was to wear it consistently, this wig will probably last maybe a week or two, but you can definitely get a few tries out of it. If you wear it for a night, take it off, wear it for a day, take, you know what I mean? Like just don't tamper with it as much. Um, like I said, I'm going to Houston in a few days, so I am going to bring a backup wig just in case. I will give y'all an update on this wig if it just goes to trash. Because I just bought it today. And I plan on wearing it for two days. So let's let's cross our fingers. This, this wig do right because this is very, very, very cute. I, I love the body and the style of it. But I just don't think it's going to last longer than that. <laughs> Part two. And this is in the same video. It's been three or four days later. And I have on the same wig that I just previously showed y'all before this clip so this is the vanessa melt wig i think it's called alien or something like that it's in the color 1b and i don't know how many inches it is it doesn't say on the package but this is the hair after wearing it consistently on and off for three to four days now like i told y'all i paid 64 dollars for this wig and i do not believe that this is a 64 dollar wig it is giving 35 40 dollar wig now if this wig costs that much I say run to y'all local beauty supply store and go buy this wig, but it's not. Um, if I had to give this a thumbs up or a thumbs down, this wig definitely gets a thumbs down. I went through a lot to get the wig to look like it right now. Like on camera, it looks nice, it looks shiny, it looks wavy, but it is natted up, baby. I don't know if y'all can tell, but it, it is natted up. It really nats up in the back, like you know, all back here. It's real natted up. Um, it was very dry. Um, if I, if you run your hands through it, like, see, like, see that? You run your hands through it like that, you automatically catch some hair. It just tangles, it sheds, it's dry, but it is a good wig just to take pictures in. Now, I give it that. Like, if you want to try, like, a cramp wig, cramp, cramp, whatever. If you want to try a cramp wig or a wig with waves and you don't know how it's going to look on your, your, um, your head or whatever, this is definitely a good wig to try out different styles. Um, I told my girlfriend because my girlfriend picked this wig out for me. I'm like, I'm glad you picked this wig out for me because I like bone straight hair. So the fact that this got like a little curl and a little body in it, I love it. And this actually shows me that I should probably start getting into like wavy, wet and wavy, crimped style type hair. Like I don't know. Like right now, I look good. Like 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 I told you, I like the you know the texture of the hair. Well, like not the texture, but I guess like the style. I love the style of the hair, but this is not a good wig. Like I said previously, like it goes past my butt, y'all. Like it goes past my butt, but it's good on length, it's good on style. But other than that, no. Oh, and also I'm wearing it the way that you're supposed to wear it. Um, the previous video I was wearing as a middle part, but now I'm wearing it as a side bang, and it's 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 cute. And I really want to like this wig, but. It just wasn't meant to be. I think previously I said from 1 to 10, I gave this wig like maybe a 6. And now I'm going to give it a 4. I'm going to get a 4 because it's overpriced, it's tangled, it's shedding. And it is a little tight. I might have a big head, 
but if you have a small head this is the perfect wig for you i don't have none of the um I don't have none of the little clips clip, you know what I mean? I loosen all of them, and this wig is still tight on my head. But I do love that I did, you know, try it out for y'all. And let me know if you have this wig or was thinking about getting this wig. Or if you do have this wig, how you keep up the maintenance or... Are you still gonna buy it to try it out? But like I said, I'm definitely going to continue to wear this wig to take pictures in. But as far as like wearing it out and stuff like that, I'm not. I'm not. I, I was like, mm, well, no, nah, I'm not. Cause like I said, it tangles, it gets snatted, and it, like it just had like that stiff look at the end of the night. But like like I said on camera, it looked good right now, and you can't really see it. But yeah, this wig definitely gets a four. If it was cheaper, I would say go get it. But, I mean, it might be cheaper at your local beauty supply, but mine, it was $64 with tax, which is like almost a $7 wig. And this ain't it, honey. But make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thank y'all for making it all the way to end of this video. I'm definitely going to come with y'all with more hair reviews. Um, I might start getting into, like, the colors. I definitely want a blonde wig, a yellow wig, and maybe, um... What's it like a like an orange type of wig? I am definitely gonna start getting into colors, but I do like this new series on my channel where I just try wigs and you know I get to pluck them and put on my head and get cute. Like this is fun for me. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.